I really hope everything is working. It's my first time going live without my husband home to help me make sure I learn how to do this new um, streaming service. So uh, hopefully I haven't screwed anything up. Um, if you are here, welcome to this live stream. I'm working on wrapping up this Lady Death Commission. And hopefully by next stream, I will be working on the digital colors of Red Sonja. I'm not quite ready to go live with it yet. Um, but I'm just gonna do a quick check myself, make sure that it's my live streams are running. Unfortunately, I can't check them until I'm live. But let's give it a look. Yes. Woohoo! And it looks like the descriptions worked this time. Last time I didn't do something right and I didn't get my descriptions correct, so I had to go back and change them. Um, okay, yep, and it looks like I'm live on Facebook. I mean, on Twitch. Let's see. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close both of those windows. Oh, yes, people are starting to say hello. Yay! Hi, everyone! Uh, Donnie, Scott, Ian, David, Tim, Rob, hello and welcome to the live stream today. Okay, so I am going to be hopefully finishing up the colors on this Lady Death Commission. So this is for someone that has been waiting for a fair few years to get his sketch. I'm going to be turning my head very cautiously because I have the stiffest stiff neck I've ever had in my life. So my range of motion is pretty much nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna look like I've got like a, a, a pole in my back. <laughs> anyway, apologies in advance for how very stiff and odd I'm gonna be looking on this live stream. River Dragon, hello, Michael Curtis, welcome to the stream. So um, I have my Copic markers right here. I'm using the Copic sketch markers. There are also Copic chow markers and Copic originals. The sketch are just the ones that I have. I think that the colors are all the same. Uh, whatever color code that I'm using, if you don't have exactly the same marker, you'll have the same color code, I believe. <laughs> Thank you, Donnie. Yeah, it's, um, I can turn my head like this. That's about as much as I've got. <laughs> and it doesn't have to do with um, sleeping wrong. It's drawing in bad posture. I, I went to get some phys physio physiotherapy. Anyway, uh, I went to like my physio yesterday because I literally couldn't move <laughs> and she said it's it's because I kink my neck too much when I draw so I will try to not do that <laughs> all right I am not happy with lady death skin tone right now um, it's a little bit too light I think um, and that's kind of it's one of those things that can happen when you, being me, color the skin first without the rest of the environment there. Um, when I do digital coloring, I always start with the background so that I have the setting figured out. Um, I didn't do that with this commission, and so I think I'm going to need to darken some of her skin so that there's enough uh, light and shadow. Okay. So for Lady Death Skin Tone, I use the Cool Gray markers. They have like a blue undertone. Um, so I use the Cool Grays for Lady Death Skin, and then I'm going to use the Warm Grays for the rocks and stones in the background. And the Warms are a little bit more on the brown side, so if you can see them together, they, these look a little bit more blue, these look a little bit more beigey brown. And so uh, they're both technically gray, but... Um, those are the differences. Jeff, Philip, Devin, Tannis, hello and welcome to the stream. Oh, and T Quick, hi. Stever, hello. Uh, Jeff Monet, um, I had not kind of planned to start in on Red Sonia on the live stream. I can't make up my mind on some of the background colors. I'm still testing things out. 
So I will go live with it on Thursday, just so you know why I've switched to Lady Death. It's always nice to have a backup. <laughs> okay. I think... Dave, hello! Welcome to the stream today. <clears throat> Ralphie, hi! Twitch is working. That's wonderful, Carmen, and welcome to the stream today. So I did finish Red Sonia, and this uh, earlier this morning I got the flats back. So I um, I'm still working on planning out the colors. I kind of was was tunnel vision on focusing on the art with Red Sonia, and usually when I'm drawing, I'll start getting ideas for the color. Um, but for this one, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting my, getting my mind around how exactly I want the environment tones to be. Red Sonia's coloring herself, of course, is already figured out. She has certain things that are standard. Her outfit colors are standard. Her uh, hair color is standard. But all of those things are affected by whatever tones I put in the background. So um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do that, how I want the blood slash to look and how it, the direction it'll be. And I wasn't ready. <laughs> Rob, hello. Hello, Silvio. Welcome to this stream and thank you for joining all the way from Brazil. That's awesome. But what I will do is I will get you guys the original because it's right in my scanner right there. I can show you where it's at. So, here is the Red Sonia original. So it's all finished up. Since um, I was almost done on the live stream with you guys, but probably not quite. So here, here it is. Um, I still need to write the, the book number and all of that stuff on it. But here is the, um, the original. And then I will, uh, I'm still working on the environment tones, but as you guys can see, there's a lot of sky that I need to figure out what color I want it to be. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> and so this one is gonna be coming out via Comics Elite. Um, and they, uh, they have a big Facebook following, big Facebook uh, page. Uh, so if you want, you can follow them there. I also have my email list you can subscribe to in case you are interested when this cover is coming out. I don't have all the details yet. Eric Larson, hello. All right, and I am... I'm turning very weirdly and slowly. I'm gonna look a little bit like a robot today. I have the stiffest neck I think I have ever had in my life. <laughs> Kadiro, hello. Jason Coates, oh my goodness, so good to hear from you. Oh, and the prince arrived, whoop whoop, yay. So um, hopefully I will be going live on Thursday to work on the Red Sonia. So I'll be working on her tomorrow and Thursday morning to try to wrap my head around it all. And maybe, hopefully, I'll be close to being done with it on Thursday and you guys can see a little bit more of the finishing as opposed to the like, Dawn is a deer in headlights and doesn't know what the hell she's doing, <laughs> which is usually how things are. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, my range of motion is, is this, and I'm mostly turning my, um, my torso. <laughs> it's robot dawn today. Cheryl, hello. Uh, yes, I do the drawings as well, and then the coloring. <laughs> Paul, hi. Scott, welcome. This is such a treat. So many of you are here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kadiro. Yeah, today is, is cold. It's kind of rainy and cold today. <laughs> Cheryl, thank you. <laughs> 
Okay, so probably what I'm gonna do first is dust it off, and I wanna thicken some of the, the ink lines on Lady Death, and then I'm gonna start working on her, um, on her actual outfit. So for her outfit, I use toner grays. These ones are probably the most neutral of the three. So I have three sets of gray markers and I'm, I'm very fancy with my Ziploc bags, I'll have you know. Um, but this one is the cool grays. They're a little bit more blue. I use them for Lady Death's skin tone. I also use them for Harley Quinn's skin tone. Um, the toner grays I use for all leather and latex suits, anything that's actually going to be black but needs like shine in it and stuff like that, I use the toner grays. And then for um, like environment things, like the rocks and stuff, I'm gonna use the warm grays which are uh, brown undertones. So these are the three different packs of grays I have. And again, fancy Ziploc. <laughs> Hello, Roberto. Uh, Dave, those are previous drawings, so it's just in case I'm I'm currently moving too slow for everyone, <laughs> you can see some of my previous work. <laughs> okay, so um, I've kind of started to. Uh, do a little bit more of a shorthand in my coloring of latex and leather. And the reason why is because I used to spend so long working on the shines and, and all of that, and then I realized I can just go start a lot darker than I used to and go over it with white colored pencil. It's glorious, saves hours. So um, I use the there's, there's many different white pencils that are nice and opaque, so they really show up. But I'd say probably the brightest white that I've found for, from a colored pencil is these ones. They are the Caran d'Ache Luminance ones. So they're, mm, mine are all worn. All right, they're Caran d'Ache Luminance, and um, so these are really opaque and they show up over black, which is awesome. <laughs> Hello, David. Oh, Jeffrey Marsh, thank you so much. Big hugs to you. <laughs> oh, thank you, David Robinson. Yes, I'm gonna do my best and uh, try to fix whatever situation it is I'm currently having. <laughs> it's, it stems from bad posture. And I am, am not very good when it comes to my posture. All right, I'm just looking for my dab pad. This is a dab pad. It's a fancy name for a napkin. Um, and I use these when whenever I find them. <laughs> I steal a couple. And I use them for uh, just when I open my Copic marker, I do a couple little dots on my, my napkin because a uh, Copic marker can sometimes leak, and so you don't want to get a big leak all over your art. So I just do a couple little dabs like that to pull off any excess ink. <laughs> Hello, Raven. Welcome to the stream today. All right, so the nice thing about Lady Death is her outfit is pretty much figured out for me. I just need to start coloring it. Yeah, no leaking on the artwork. I've had it happen before. It's very depressing. <laughs> Hello, Silvio. So the skulls are going to be, um, the skulls are gonna be gold. And then the, um, her suit and the outside of her cape are black, and then the inside of her cape is red, so it gives her a really nice pop of color, which I really like. Your glove box is full of them? Nice! <laughs> Give me some! <laughs> Thank you. 
And then, so I pretty much have taken my uh, latex and leather colors down to basically two, sometimes three tones. I start with the six, and then I'll move up to like a nine. And sometimes I'll throw in a seven. That's the, the color tones, okay? So they all say T one through 10. Um, so I use, Six is pretty much the lightest one I go to because then I can use my colored pencil for any real bright highlights. Oh my God, you got the Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy cover C. Whoa, Joshua, thank you so much. That's awesome. Those ones were hard to come by. <laughs> well done. And thank you so much for joining in today. All right, so I just have to be careful around some of the locks of her hair. Um, I don't really want to have uh, dark tones bleeding into where her hair should be. Juan, hello! <laughs> Mubot is lying. Uh, David Bell, at the moment I'm not open for commissions. I'm trying to work through my wait list. So um, I've shut down my commissions until I can get through the ones that are waiting already. <laughs> Todd Sharp, thank you. Welcome to the stream today. Do people ever ask for a specific outfit or something completely different for Lady Death or other characters? Um, in general, I don't, uh, I don't get specific outfit requests for Lady Death. Um, Though sometimes I will be asked to recreate an outfit I've done on like, say, a Lady Death cover or whatever. So now I'm just doubling up and saturating with the same marker which is what's real, something that's really nice about Copic marker is the more you add ink on, the, the darker it gets. More shimmer outfits, yes. <laughs> Hello, Steve, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry, Johnny. Um, if you go to Most Good Hobby, you can find it there because they are the that's the retailer that I did it for and I know they still have it. <sighs> I beat it for that day, Dave. It'll come back and try to eat my head again soon. <laughs> You got your metal cover in Spellbound. Yay, thank you so much for supporting that artist day, Juan. You're a sweetheart. Now you tell me years of headaches later. I'm so sorry, Johnny. Yes, Jason, it's one of the commissions as I catch up on my commission list. So um, something that I do offer for people that have gotten my commissions or are getting a sketch at a convention is you can either have a blank 
like a blank comic book or I'll do a free upgrade to eight and a half by 11 because then it's the paper I know and love hashtag diva and so that's why I've got this one is on the eight and a half by 11 paper that's mine <laughs> Oh, you just posted it. I'll need to take a look, Juan. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's fine. Um, Johnny, it is most good hobby. Um, I think that their, their URL is actually mostgoodhobby.com. And then you can search in there. And so they have all three versions or you can just get one of the versions on its own. I think they have them all. Oh, thank you, Rob. Hey Lauren, thank you, hon. Still waiting for your prints? One life problem solved, hooray! <laughs> Were you able to find the site, Johnny? All right, so I drew a nail on her here because I completely forgot. I like drew the glove and then drew a nail. Well, she's wearing a glove on this finger, so she wouldn't have a nail. So I'm just kind of hoping that the black will cover, <laughs> cover my rogue nail there. Rob, thank you so much for posting that on Facebook. You're amazing. Johnny, right above your comment, Rob posted the URL to the, um, the retailer. Ugh. Stiff necks are the worst, man. <laughs> it's really bumming me out. Okay, so now I've moved up to toner gray number nine. So it's T9. Heating pad, okay. Yeah, the other day, um, I think it was yesterday, I had, my mom got me a, it's like a stuffy toy. So it looks like a, like a sausage lion. So it's th this long, <laughs> it's this long stuffy toy lion that I think is filled with rice and like potpourri scented. And you're supposed to put it in the um, in the microwave for a few minutes, and it gets all, all heated so that you can you can put it wherever you need it. So I had a, a lion stuffy toy around my head, and because my hair is relatively heavy, it was really painful to have it as a uh, down as in a braid yesterday. So I wrapped my hair around my head and then put a toque on, you know, which is like a, a winter hat. <laughs> and so JP Roth called me yesterday to, to read some of where she's at on her new novel. <laughs> and I turn on the camera and I've like got this big lion around my neck and my, my hair is all wrapped up around my head. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, today's a rough day. <laughs> Kornos, thank you. Thank you, Nihilus. Welcome to the stream today. <laughs> I know, really. It's, 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 it's a rough look I'm sporting. I literally am just looking human to, to get on live stream with you guys. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of a fuck it day. <laughs> you deserve pictures of that. <laughs> All right. I'll post one on Boop Squad, maybe. <laughs> True Deadman, hello. Welcome to the stream today.
I don't even remember that I said one. Did I say one, Devin? <laughs> Jeff Martin, hello. Hello, Quan. Thank you so much and welcome to the stream. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my toner gray number six and I'm blending out the, um, the color. I did. I said it. Wow. I don't even remember saying it. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. You all had better be ready, though, because I'm going to like, um, I'm going to, what is, what is it called when you like, I'm going to object, objection. <laughs> I'm not on any, Rob. It would be a very good idea to be on some right about now. <laughs> then we can have <laughs> a high dawn stream. I'm so glad you're happy with your remark, True Deadman. Yay! <laughs> More plum wine. Yes, please. I was lost discussing my hair. That is true. When I'm not paying attention, they really start to, to come in droves. Oh, okay, yes, I need to go comment on that one. I'm really sorry. If I try to focus on one thing, then I'm super shit on something else. So I've been trying over the last 24 hours to focus on answering emails. I, my email is out of control. Um, and so now I need to refocus on Facebook. Christian, hello from El Salvador and welcome to the stream. It's great to have you. How's the wrist and hand? The wrist and hand are fine. I can no longer turn my neck. <laughs> I'm like slowly falling apart piece by piece. <laughs> Mar Marcello, Marcello or Marcello? Help. Either way, thank you so much. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna get get bold and put some toner gray number 10 on the edges just to really get some nice strong black in there for lady death's outfit and then i'll show you guys what happens when i add the colored pencil it's quite glorious kylie hello Thank you, Michael. My hands are doing great. <laughs> it's a bold gray. <laughs> I know. Look at me being all ballsy and shit. Didak, hello and welcome. All right, uh, Devin, has anyone received or know of someone who hasn't received their Lady Death Kickstarter stuff? Been tracking the package, but it's gone silent for 12 days. You know what, Devin, I'm so not surprised, especially stuff coming from the US and going into Canada. There was one package for um, a man in um, Montreal, I believe, that we sent out. It took, it took so long, like we wait, it took so long to reach him and had basically just gone missing for like, three weeks so finally we just sent a new one and they both arrived at the same time same package <laughs> canada post is being a little bit weird right now the answer might not be no yeah i'm in a mood paul it may happen. I'm feeling a little more chatty than usual. And when I talk more, I swear more. It's a problem.
All right. As Rob said, oh my God, I'm getting bold with gray. <laughs> Keeman, hello. Adam, thank you so much for supporting the artist celebration and getting the, I'm so glad that you got the uh, signed books. Yay. I'm thinking it's in a 14 day quarantine. Yeah, hopefully you'll hear something soon, especially because tracking starts to drop out as soon as it crosses the border or once it's uh, in like the international um, hub of wherever. So like the ones that are coming from my warehouse are always like stuck in Chicago uh, international hub for like weeks on end and then they'll just randomly show up at someone's house if it's if it's someone to if it's going to Canada the tracking is special <laughs> but that's just a guess I don't know you must be lucky you sent a package from LA to Paris in one week you are lucky Steve not fair not fair oops wrong wrong marker Okay, so now I will show you um, what's going on here with my Faber-Cast, no, it's my Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencil. And I'm using the white colored pencil and it brings back the bright highlights gloriously. And not all white colored pencils are opaque enough to really show up like this and create that uh, bright shine that you want when you're working on latex or leather um, and I've gone through many different colored pencils and you know each one I find I'm like oh my god this one's perfect oh my god this one's perfect but this one is perfect <laughs> Witchell hello thank you for stopping in to say hi it's great to see you Next question, would you sign them? I would love to sign things. If right now, I'm not accepting any to uh, sign here. It takes a long, long, long time for me to unpack, repack, all of that, and I just don't have the time for it at the moment. Um, maybe in the future, I will, have, I will have all that figured out. Right now, I don't, I'm really sorry. Whenever I go to a um, convention, I sign for free. Um, if you're going to Sworn Fest, I will have my markers ready and I will sign all the things. You use a Sakura gel pen. Those ones are really good, David. They're just a little bit smaller, so you know you'd have to fill for a long time. This one's great. It's it's just a different uh, different use case. Levi, hello. I went over where I wanted to a little bit, but you can erase it. Not perfect, but you can erase it enough. Paul Connor, hello and welcome to the stream today. I feel like Lady Death's skin needs a little bit more contrast. So I'm probably going to go back in and add a bit more contrast. For now though, I'm just working on getting some of the other elements in and especially the environment. And then I'll be able to see exactly how much more contrast her skin needs. Mm, thank you, Kylie. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of toner gray in number 10 right now. Look at me and my brave self. Oh, wow. 
Oh, you use Copic Opaque White. Nice. Well, that wasn't a no. Do you come to Denver? I'll be there with my books. Uh, yes, sometimes I do go to the Denver Comic Con. I usually skip a year, so technically I should. Oh, but I don't know how everything is going to work right now because people pre-booked and, you know, with conventions being canceled, their bookings are being pushed to the following year. So Generally speaking, I would be at Denver Comic Con in 2021. We'll have to see if there are availabilities, but yes, I will gladly sign your books for you. When you do commissions, do you ever submit them to the com comic publisher to see if they'd be interested in making into a cover? Like, will you submit this commission to Coffin Comics to see if they're interested? Yes, I will, Jake. Um, Generally, before I start any Lady Death commission, I make sure that the person who is requesting said commission is aware that when at all possible, I scan them and send them to Coffin Comics if, uh, to just if they want it. So a lot of times we'll post a commission and we'll get a comment from Brian Polito saying, scan please. Um, when I'm at conventions, I can't scan it. But when I'm home, I will scan it. Or if there's even a 2021. Good point, Levi. That would be a definite maybe from Dawn in Denver. <laughs> oh, thank you, True Deadman. It was over a hundred books. Wow. Yeah, and signing that much, that many books definitely takes time. I learned that. It took me a full day to sign all the, the stuff from the artist celebration. To sign it, repack it, you know, all of that. I will admit, when I'm at conventions, I do have, uh, I will sign all the things for free. However, you have to do bag and board service for me. <laughs> so if you stand there and take them all out of the bags and boards and put them back in, I will sign an unlimited amount of books, but you've got to do bags and boards. <laughs> and that's said with much love and gratitude. <laughs> Fan perspective, isn't a major bonus if commission becomes selected by Brian? Yes, I think it does, Jason, because it ups the value of said commission quite a bit. Um, Jake, no, I still post it because I don't, I don't generally know when I'm working on the commission if it's going to be used by the publisher or not. So when it comes to um, Lady Death, in general, Brian Polito does give me permission to live stream. Unless it's a special project, um, I have um, I have permission to live stream the process, which is way cool of Coffin Comics. Um, so no, I don't have to hide it because generally it's a surprise for me if something gets used. I'll see it on the like the live stream where he's talking about all the mystery books that are going to be happening and I'm like, oh, check it out. There's a commission. <laughs> it's like a happy surprise. Yes, they, they do a huge amount of bubble wrap, but then they also put a little, like when they tape down the bubble wrap, they put a little flap so that you can pick off the tape easily. It's amazing. Oh, hello, Matthew. Oh, 
Tobias Shazim. Shazam. Are you Shazam from the other day? I love the tape flap. Yeah, right? Finally worked, Twitch, how to change your name. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you are the same one. Sorry, Rob. All right, I'm gonna use toner gray number 10 straight up on her bikini here. Thank you so much for getting it, Shazam. That's awesome. Most of your snarkiness keeps. That's awesome. <laughs> My pleasure, Johnny. You are amazing. It's great to have you here and thank you so much for your support. Oh, we started Twin Peaks the other day. I am very lost, as, as was predicted by all of you. <laughs> but um, my son is so very happy. He loves Twin Peaks, so um, he's very happy that we're watching it with him. Even our 15-year-old uh, daughter is joining in, so... Um, We'll see. They do a lot of donut eating so far. That's my main takeaway. <laughs> the original tw Twin Peaks. We are starting at the very beginning. Large amount of painkillers helps with Twin Peaks as well. <laughs> Kenneth, hello and welcome. Uh, I guess I haven't reached the scary stuff. I've seen the first two episodes. So I don't know if I've reached scary stuff. It doesn't seem very scary yet. loves the director of uh, Twin Peaks, I think, is the main thing. But as you guys know, and this is said with much love, my son is a, a major movie snoot. <laughs> he is snooty times a thousand. <laughs> so um, 
we will we'll see if I like it because I am kind of the polar opposite when it comes to my movie tastes. I want something that's new girl esque and fun and funny and light and not at all critically acclaimed. <laughs> Laura actually bought the whole DVD set, Kara, Kylie, God damn it. Yeah, so he bought the whole DVD set and the box set and the whole thing because, you know, as I said, yes. <laughs> David Lynch, giant snob. Not David Lynch, my son. And, and he's aware, like I have said this to his face as well, he very much embraces his snobbiness. <laughs> <laughs> the snobbiness has been embraced. <laughs> He's, uh, I believe, even started getting into silent movies. Exactly, right, Rob? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Tannis. I wouldn't know. <laughs> like I said, I really love, like, Parks and Rec, um, and... Parks and Rec, New Girl, anything that's just kind of fun and simple and no slice of life from me, please and thank you. <laughs> the apple fell far from this particular tree. However, when it comes to the Dan tree, the apple is right in line because this is exactly how Dan was and still is. <laughs> so, um... They usually watch shows together and they don't even bother inviting me or Vienna because they know we're not down for that shit. <laughs> oh no, Steve died. Bummer. But you know, it's all art and I need to respect the art form, which I do. It's just I don't do sad. So, there we go. <laughs> I'm glad you got it, Jeff. <laughs> right, Rob? Oh my god, that's the best. <laughs> Shazam is back, hello. I don't know why, you guys. I should be well okay with doing this, but I'm telling you, I am really, I always find like the booby shine very difficult to do. They watch movies when I'm streaming or usually me and Vienna are watching our shows. We'll be watching Vampire Diaries for the 10th time or whatever. Um, and they'll be watching their like snob show <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> Whoa, wow, Kylie. Yeah, I can't do it. Michael's scared of mo scary movies. Who was a big boy and watched it with us? <laughs> he had a safety stick. <laughs> oh my god. Vienna and Dan watched it together. I was a hard pass on that one. Oh, really? Lucifer's so much fun, Johnny. You're almost halfway done with Vampire Diaries? Nice, Rob. You can't bring yourself to watch the rest, Paul. I, I hear you. I'd say that the beginning is the saddest part, though. I have never watched it. I will never watch it. 
See you later, Witchel. Have a good night and sleep well. Have you checked out what we do in the shadows yet? I have not, Jake. Is it scary or is it sad? If it's either of those, I can't do it. <laughs> well put, Levi. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome, Shazam. Respect. <laughs> I think they're backdooring you into the new Dune movie. They're gonna get you to like Twin Peaks, and next it'll be Dune from 1980, whatever, and then they will tell you, but mom, Jason Momoa and Oscar Isaac are in the new Dune, and then they will have you. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they were that plan ahead, I would have I would respect it and probably watch it then. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's the opposite. All right. Then I need to look it up. Okay. I'm just getting my... Sorry, everybody. I can't really turn my head. I need to write it down or I'm going to forget. What we do in the shadows... What? Oh, my God. Thinnest pen ever. Mm. I think you guys told me that last time too, and I forgot. In the shadows. <laughs> yes, I'm still with the Batman turn. <laughs> I uh, I went and got my um my neck checked. I I do go to see a, a physio every so often. Uh, I told her when I first met her, I was like, warning, I am the worst patient you will ever have. I only show up when I'm dying. Um, so she knew that was, that's how I roll. <laughs> but yeah, she like came to get me in the reception, uh, in the waiting room. And like, she, she was like, oh my God, your neck is so fucked. <laughs> Kind of like the office type humor. Okay, I didn't find the office very funny. I'm getting prepared for the stoning that's coming. Johnny, see you later. Take care. Catch you next time. Okay, toner gray number nine. I've never seen Seinfeld, but you didn't find it funny? Filmed like The Office, but not an actual office. Oh, so it's sort of filmed like a, like a documentary the whole way through? Yeah, The Office was fun, but I didn't really find it funny. Like, honestly, I just, what's the, what's the main manager? Like, sometimes I just, I couldn't bear him. <laughs> he was just too annoying. I personally uh, saw the American one. I haven't seen the British one. Though I do really like um, <clears throat> the actor who started it. Um, the, what's his name? Okay, yeah, Michael Scott, I just, wow. I, could, I couldn't handle it. Yeah, I figured you were British, Shazam. 
the humor didn't translate well to American. Interesting. Um, I, uh, no, who's the, 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 the British actor who, who played, um, the manager? Oh, thank you so much, Cymru. Welcome. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Ricky Gervais. Yeah, he is freaking hilarious. Did you see his Netflix special from a little while ago? I was laughing so hard I nearly choked. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, so funny. I haven't seen all of his Globes ones, but I've seen a few and I'm just like dying. They're so, so funny. <laughs> And the stuff he says, I could never even, I can't repeat them because it's all about like taking a bath in the bathtub as a, as a grown man. So like, you know, I can't really speak to any of that, but I was dying. It was so freaking funny. <laughs> Did you lose video? Sorry, Kenneth, Kennethus. Gosh, I still pronounce your name so badly, I know. I'm glad it's working for everyone else. Have you seen his new series? I have not. I probably should at some point since I find him so very funny. Oh, interesting, Cobra Striker. I've never watched Mr. Bean, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh my god, I need to not move my head that fast. Oh god. <laughs> Ow. Oh, really? He's Rowan Atkinson live is freaking hilarious. Oh yeah, have you watched it? Is it sad, Jeff? Because I saw that the beginning was about her husband dying or something like that, and I was like, nope, too sad, can't do it. But is it funny? Okay, thank you, Jeff. I'll, I'll check it out. Shirley, hello and welcome to the stream today. Sable, welcome. Great to have you here. Okay, so now I'm just blending some of the edges here.
TV Huff, hello and welcome. Yay, it's so great to have you guys here. Um, for anyone who's just dropped in, I'm working on a Lady Death commission right now. Um, I will get started on the Red Sonia coloring um, on the next live stream. Well, I'll be starting on it sooner than that, but I will, um, I will be live streaming it on Thursday. If you want funny, watch Lego Batman. Agreed. <laughs> Hello, Mr. E. Kylie was here, but she uh, she's just doing a school run. I'm just going to do colored pencil. I'm probably actually going to use some black colored pencil as well to just put some, um, to get it even darker. I'm finding my markers are not quite as dark as I would like. How come there's no sub or bits donation thingy on this stream? I haven't done them, um, Shazam. Thank you, Sable. Red is is my is my comfort spot when it comes to Copic marker. For some reason, I have a much easier time blending reds than anything else. <laughs> So it's kind of a cheat, you know, if I don't know if everything else is going to work, I know the red will work. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer, Juan. Well, this one is going to go to Coffin Comics, and that's Brian's call. Though, I'm probably going to have to do something when I submit this, because she's too wide and not tall enough, so I'm probably going to need to extend the background a little bit above her head. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. It's my cheat. It's how I can distract you all from everything else. <laughs> Just got to throw in a little flair. And then everybody can be impressed with you on one little area. And then you can, <laughs> if you fuck up somewhere else, nobody notices. <laughs> Sneaky like that. Oh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> that too, Chicago. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Matthew. Okay, so I'm just leaving a little tiny uh, rim around where her arm joins her boob here. I'm going to need to do something to, to pull them apart depth-wise so that it doesn't look like it's all one big piece and her arm just kind of disappears. <laughs> it's a must for the bust. <laughs> Yay! Oh, interesting, Shazam. How old are your kids?
<laughs> Your kid is 51, it's you. <laughs> Three boys. I only wanted a girl, but alas, a mole. <laughs> and how old are they? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I missed you already wrote it up above. 14, 8, and 8. And you're 32. Wow, young. <laughs> so you had twins, huh? I feel like... <laughs> that is true, Sable. How are they holding up with the schools being closed and stuff? Or are, are the schools closed in the UK right now? Or is that just a North America thing? Oh, so your mom had twins too? It was an attempt at a girl. Oh, wow. You've been deployed. Oh my god, Shazam. Kids are doing really well. Haven't seen them for nearly six months now. As you're in the forces, so deployed and returned. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing, Shazam. And I'm so sorry that you haven't seen them in so long. Virtual means Skype, Skype house party. Oh, wow. Oh, Steve, I didn't know that you were in the in the Air Force. Their schoolwork is better with their mom. That's awesome. today. All right, see you later, Ken. You lost me? Uh-oh. Uh, 
Oh, some dropped framed detected. Okay, we're back. Sorry, yeah, it seems like there's been a couple dropped frames. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the visual said be right back. Okay. Yeah, I guess if it drops out again, know that I do plan on going live straight through till 8. So it's 622 right now, so I have another hour and a half. Thank you, Kevin. So I'm not going to do extreme lighting on her legs. As we go down, I am going to start dropping out some of the highlights. Hello, Thomas. Zico, hello, I'm doing great. Thank you. In some streams, being over 30 gets you treated differently. How can anybody even tell, Steve? Is her skin hard to color? I'm sorry that I missed that, Kevin. Um, it, it is sometimes. Like this time, I feel that I didn't go high enough contrast, so I'm going to need to go back and fix it. What kind of markers? I'm using Copic sketch markers. You don't speak lingo right. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You just started to, oh, congratulations, Kevin. Where, where are you streaming? On Facebook, on Twitch, I wanna follow you. Using complete sentences. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. On Twitch, okay. As you fill in the black, the cool gray starts to show be better. Oh, that's awesome. I still think that I'm lacking contrast on her skin. And that's just my error in so in that I did her skin first. So it looked all dark com compared to white paper. But then once I started putting the tones in, I'm like, God damn it. 
You made affiliate after three streams. Is that good? That is so freaking boss. Well done, Kevin. <laughs> I think to make affiliate, you need 50 followers and a certain amount of streams or something like that. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> too many notifications you can't watch the stream in peace too many likes okay my latest drawing first time that happened <laughs> be doing most of these sketch cards that's awesome I'm gonna go um, follow you Kevin uh, I'm going to twitch hold please all right um, let me check search are you are you Kevin P West on there okay here we go all right I'm gonna just follow you real quick Kevin if anybody else hasn't followed Kevin yet go give him a follow so that he can um, so he can have more followers and um, Maybe we'll give him a raid sometime, if he's live while I'm live. <laughs> Ooh, Kreese is on. Tony Moy is on. Just keeping a little left eye on people for when I need to go live. Sweet! Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I was like moving around on tw on Twitch. So now I'll catch up on comments. Your folks went to high school with Harrison Ford in Chicago. Oh my God, that's so cool, Rob. Eric, hello, welcome. On my gorgeous cheekbones. No, I have never gotten comments on my cheekbones, but thank you, Sable. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> or are you talking about on my art? it's not true the whole thing about Harrison Ford wasn't true Rob and I just got totally taken in I feel like 
I, I that's hilarious, Mr. E. I just I don't see that. <laughs> I am so gullible, it's not fair. Oh, never on my cheekbones. I mean, that's like a real specific compliment. It's sort of like if, if someone's gonna get a compliment from me, literally watch out. Like if you meet me in person, I've had to really start to rein myself in because I give very specific compliments. I don't just say, oh, you look really nice today. I'll be like, I really like the shape of your ears or like the way that your nose on the top, your profile is amazing or the corner of your eye or I'll like get all obsessed about somebody's like brow bone, just really weird and creepily specific that I kind of have a little bit of a serial killery vibe, but I swear it's just I'm being an artist. <laughs> And so I've been told to just like really try to be a little bit more vague in my compliments and not be so goddamn specific because it's really scary for people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Your shoelace is dazzling, but it's usually something a little bit scarier, you know? Like the, the shape of your chin or, you know, your earlobe. I've, I've gone that far. It's really creepy. You would think it was a high compliment. Well, that's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. The, the real problem though is that not many, not everybody knows I'm an artist. And so I'm just a real creeper. <laughs> time. You're an earlobe model. Nice, Steve. don't get any creepy compliments. Aw, sorry, Central Park. Travis, hello and thank you. So I always have to watch out with the shines as to what it's doing to the anatomy. Because sometimes I will try to get a little bit adventurous or just make it look more interesting. And then the body is like all kinds of wonktastic. So, you know, um, this is still pending my giving it a good hard look over to make sure it doesn't twist her leg or something.
thank you, Kevin. I actually did. I got the, um, it's a book from Brune Hogarth called Dynamic Wrinkles and Drapery, and I studied the shit out of that book for a few years. Um, I don't, now, I don't necessarily agree with all of his theory, or like, his style of drawing drapery isn't my favorite, but his theories and what he taught were great. So I've kind of, you know, adjusted it to my own personal opinion over the years, but the book itself was amazing. Af Afranio, thank you so much. Okay, Sable, how do you practice with Copic markers while trying not to use the best paper for Copic? Yeah, that does sound like a catch-22. Why are you trying to not use the best paper? And you're more than slightly infatuated with red. Also true, Steve. <laughs> You have it? Oh, okay, awesome. I really love how Frank Cho um, does drapery. He really has that down. Kara, hello and welcome to the stream today, love. Hello, Eris. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay, now I'm just doing a teeny bit more blending here. They really are, Matthew. Thank you, Carmen. John, welcome to the stream. I'm not sure if I saw you earlier, so it's great to have you here. Thank you so much, John. It sounds like sirens. Yeah, there must have been, I don't know, we, there must have been like fire trucks or something going on down there. <laughs> it 
just takes practice, Matthew. Oh my god, I need to stop putting my head down so fast. Jesus. It's one way to work out, <laughs> right? Hello, Marcelo. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Kara. Ooh, time to make some s'mores. That's amazing, Matthew. Have fun, and thanks so much for stopping by. Yes, it may be drying soon. I'm going to push it as far as I can, though, Rob. Lazy girl over here. Arnav, hello and welcome to the stream today. Oh my god, Kara is going to bring out her paddle when she reads all this stuff. <laughs> I do not have one that will help my neck, Paul. It's very rare that I have a stiff neck like this. It's the weirdest freaking thing. Oh, that's interesting, Arnav. And how's it going? <laughs> that was a really good rhyme, Mr. E. You were extremely clever. Respect. That's a good question, Sable. Um, I don't think I have so many of them, but I will be stopping a lot um, just to get up and go get a coffee or get up and, you know, deal with Sherlock or one of the kids or something like that. And so it does give me chances to stop and look. I think that stopping and giving your, your art the hairy eyeball is, is good. 
it's handy it helps you catch things that you didn't notice when you were working on it so i believe in them i believe in in um the hairy eyeball <laughs> brandy hello and welcome to the stream today Oh, Shazam, it's, um, I've always drawn, but yes, it was one of those, uh, fortunate events where, um, JP Roth, who wrote Ancient Dreams that you have, she actually started that series as a novel. Um, and, I mean, as a, she started the novel as a comic book series. So she asked me if I would like to draw for, uh, her comic book series. And that's how I got into comics. And now she's just released the novel. <laughs> My breaks are looking at what you're posting. That is also true. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it's going good, Arnav. That's awesome. You're going to make a slideshow bingo card. That is awesome. Thank you so much, RJ. I really appreciate that. Copic bingo is easier.
It's because I sneak attack with them, Jason. <laughs> Yeah, Moobot's being snarky and nasty today. <laughs> Do you use reference for poses of your drawings? Um, no. Well, yes and no. What I do is I I look at um I look at photos and I look at um even just other posing or art as inspiration. So you don't want to just straight up use the the pose or whatever, but you can just kind of fill your mind with all kinds of things. So like this one I didn't have reference for. I just kind of, uh, the cape I didn't use reference at all. Her hair I didn't use reference. I didn't have a pose reference, but I did have a, a layout sketch idea of my own that I used and uh, it was actually gonna be for a cover and then I didn't use it for that so I used it for a commission. Meet me! <laughs> but yeah, um, it's good to fill your mind with just all kinds of prompts even of, you know, things that inspire you and then, you know, one part of one thing inspires you of like, oh, that's a great way to rest a hand. And this other part is like, oh, that's that's awesome the way the feet are crossed. And I'm not saying I use that here because I didn't, but I have. Um, so I, uh, I think it's good to just really try to fill your mind with as much anatomy and art and all of those things that you can because that's how you learn. Um, the the main thing is to not just do something straight up unless you took your own photo. What are we risking? Moobot is showing no love. Bummer. I'm not entirely sure if I like the, the formation that it's giving her thigh. I think it's kind of twisting her knee a little bit. So I'm going to need to think about that because I'm not a happy girl. So now I need to start adding in some darker shadows from where her body would be creating shadows. Oh, Dawn, don't miss Psycho's question. Where is Psycho? Okay, my English is not the best. Can you tell me what kind of white pen you're using? Uh, or something completely different. Okay, yes, this is a Karen Dosh Luminance uh, pencil. I will actually write it in Psycho Woman is on Twitch. So yes, I will write it to you on Twitch so you can see. Actually, I can do that from here. Twitch. All right. It is, it is a Karen de There we go. Thanks so much, Dan. I wouldn't have seen that. <laughs> My pleasure. 
Thank you, Sable, for putting it there. <laughs> there is a lot of getting lost in the sauce here. Now, I did buy myself a new light gray that might work. Well, I've been talking about them for some for other people. I want to vote for David Mack. Oh my goodness, it's like the perfect Lady Death color. Man, that's awesome. Do I have another gray or is this the only gray I have? I have another gray. Oh my God. Yes! No, thank you, Jason. I hope so. <laughs> well, you know what? It's generally a little bit safer and easier. If I need more tone or shadow on um, a Copic piece, it's a little bit easier when I do the rest with colored pencil. So let's see if this works. So I'm going to have to blend out all of this with white because this is the lightest gray that I have. Oh, thank you so much, Philip. <laughs> Kylie's back. Whoop, whoop. You're still waiting for the skulls. Okay, Steve, I will try to make sure to have those done before the live stream is over. It's not taken as pressure, Steve. All is good. All 
croquet, yes. I think a little bit more shadow going on is really helping. So what I did is I put some darker gray in there and then I'm just kind of blending it out with the, the, the lighter gray that I have. I hope all is well for you. Yay, thank you, John Paul. <laughs> A fire hydrant with wolverine claws. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it, Juan. I haven't showed him yet, Kylie. <laughs> I'm working on that one. See you later, Powers. Have a good evening. Thank you for hanging out. Justin, oh my goodness, welcome. I'm probably going to even put a little bit of like a red, no, that's too dark. Let me see about like an orangey tone. Just that her skin is picking up a little bit of the color from behind her. You forgot it was Tuesday. Well, it's great to have you here, uh, Hanu Soul.
I look all fancy today. Oh, it's my it's my fancy hoodie. <laughs> I got it at a yard sale like eight years ago, so it's not that fancy, but thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Psycho Woman. I'm glad that you find it helpful and it's great to have you here today at least. <laughs> Keep your secrets, let us believe, okay. <laughs> Yeah, my, my mental picture of Lady Death for this one was a lot higher contrast. So um, this is an extra step that unfortunately I need to take on this one. But I think in the end it's going to look much better because I, I don't want her to be so lacking in contrast. And sometimes it doesn't always work to go back in with Copic marker. It just starts looking blotchier and blotchier. So I'm hoping that this will kind of bridge the gap. That's always the, um, the goal, is to somehow try to figure it out and hack it so that it looks as good as the original, but it rarely ever does. But you do the best you can. Thank you, Zico. lol do i have <laughs> you guys uh yes guilty sweet snacks i i do i love all forms of candy gummy bears i pretty much have the sweet snack likes of like a seven-year-old <laughs> so like cheap cheap candy I wish I was more sophisticated, but unfortunately, uh, my taste buds are what they are. <laughs> we just started Snack Talk. We've been very sophisticated this whole time. been talking about movies and shows. <laughs> You've never been sophisticated. <laughs> So the thing with colored pencils is I personally don't, it depends on the project, but for something like this, especially if it's going to be printed, I don't like the grainy textury look. So I am going to be blending it with white. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of right here. It's all very, um, I've really colored it in very densely and here I'm lightening up the pencil a little bit because when I go over it with white, it's gonna pick up the gray 
and help give her leg the shade that I'm trying to get, but I don't like the grainy textured look. Bull Randall, um, right now I'm not accepting any um, one-of-a-kind commission pieces because um, I'm working through my wait list. So the man who this one is for has been waiting for three years. So I'm trying to get through those and I'm sorry I'm not taking any right now. See you later, Shazane. Thank you so much for hanging out. Day love, hello. Oh, thank you so much, Bull Rangel. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on Lady Death and you know, I may not even get to the rocks, but honestly, the rocks are just there to support Lady Death. So the rocks kind of barely matter. <laughs> I will, of course, make them um, as nice as I possibly can because we all want happy trees and pretty rocks, but Lady Death is the important part. So I am definitely focusing the majority of my effort, especially on this live stream, to Lady Death and her skin and all of that. <laughs> Respect Justin, never change. Oh, Ashley, hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> the rock support physically and emotionally, right? So I kind of roughly scribbled in some like charcoal gray um, around the edges and now I'm blending them in with the lighter gray. So it's just, it's very smoosh. All of this is, is just some aggressive smoosh, smooshing. Actual licorice is revolting. Kylie! Oh my god, I thought it was kind of like a, a, you have to love licorice if you're Australian. <laughs> the bra supports physically. Also true. So I'm just using the white colored pencil here to blend in and soften the gray. I'm just using it as a smoosher. Smoosh! And 
now I'm just very lightly going over the edges so that it blends nicely, but I don't want to lighten everything that I did underneath. It's awful, oh wow. I do uh, so love soft lip licorice, though I don't believe I've ever had true Australian soft licorice. So I do feel as though I'm missing out on something. Yeah, I don't care for black licorice myself. We lost the feed for a few minutes. Oops, I'm so sorry. You know what, Devin? Um, my, uh, my son prefers um, stale uh, Twizzlers. We're a Twizzler family here. We are not red vines. Um, and yeah, he, he will open the bag and leave it out for a couple days so that they get really stale. I don't understand that. <gasps> okay, I may have missed some. Do you also stream art classes? J Love, I don't. I do. I mean, I, I stream like this. So if you have a question, you can ask me here. But I don't do like I'm specifically streaming to teach. But I am here if you have any questions. I don't like how her knee is looking. Something is all kinds of fucked up over here. I might need to change that. Oh, you guys already answered. Fail. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna be hitting 50 really quick. I have never tried purple Twizzlers. I wish. Oh, what does the magic eight ball say? It is certain. Oh no. Labrys, hello. Oh, thank you, Bull Rangel. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thanks for hanging out and have a great evening. <laughs> my 50s are the new 30s. No, I'm talking about my, uh, 
F-bombs, because now there's a counter, and I think I'm at like 43 or something. I do feel like I'm hitting 50 with this stiff neck. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sable. Okay, the I drew that piece that you're referring to, but the coloring was by Sabine Rich, who is just unbelievable. She's so good. <laughs> I'll be here for you, Kara. <laughs> I'm at 46. God damn it. <laughs> that is also true, Justin. <laughs> Kylie, you're so young. It's ridiculous. You're not allowed to complain. <laughs> Nine percent love, bummer. <laughs> I could get forty seven to fifty out of the way now. Rip the band aid. <laughs> really wish that I had just made her skin darker to begin with. This is kind of an unfortunate long way around the situation, but it'll, it'll look better. It'll have a lot more depth if I do this. What's Sherlock doing today? You know what? That is a very good question, Sable. I have no idea. He usually, uh, oh God, I can't move. Okay, my, um, he usually sits like right at my feet, wherever I happen to be, and he just kind of hangs there. Um, but I don't know where he is right now. Usually at this time, he's sleeping downstairs on the ottoman, which is now so thoroughly covered with Sherlock fur, it, it barely resembles an ottoman. And P.S. I do vacuum it. <laughs> no, you're hearing birds. At least I can hear them. Oh, I, you, d Psycho Woman, just post it again if I miss you. Clay, hello, it's great to see you. Well, at least see you here. <laughs> uh, I don't, I haven't used the polychromes.
so much white fur. That's right. I hope you guys are doing well, Clay. At least it's warming up, huh? <laughs> Uh, this the cape was with Copic marker and I did her skin with Copic marker too But unfortunately, I didn't go dark enough. So now I'm just trying to add some darker shadow <laughs> with colored pencil um, Because when you once you've gone over Once the Copic marker has dried if you try to go back in on something like skin It'll make it look really blotchy on, on something where it's, um, you know, you're not, it doesn't really matter and having some texture is fine, it's, it's okay to go back in and keep coloring and keep coloring. I personally find that it makes the skin look really blotchy, so that's why I'm using colored pencil instead. A little more, yeah, just a smidge, right, Steve? <laughs> So right now, after I've colored in all the, the gray shading that I wanted, I'm, I'm blending it out with a white. So I went a little darker than I needed to on her face because I knew that I would be um, blending it. So the white is taking all the color and shade that I put down and it's smooshing it. So this is the, the, the non-scientific quote-unquote technical term <laughs> is smoosh. I believe actually it's called burnishing. <laughs> Thank you, Keeman. It can also leave lines, exactly. So that's why I'm using my smoosh technique here. Yeah, it really helps to soften and blend, that's for sure. Adding a little bit more blend here. Now that there's already the white down, when I go over it with the gray again, it does blend into the white, so it's a little bit more of a smooth transition, which is really what I want, you know? Um, personally, I really like a smooth skin tone. Um, and the, the blotchiness that Copic marker can sometimes give really bothers me. So colored pencil is kind of like my backup if that ever happens. You want an in on group smooshing?
Hey, Kara, do you like Bailey's? Hello, Rob. Thank you so much. Have any of the comic book storage boxes, the 300, the 150s? I have two short boxes. And then a bunch of like diamond comic book boxes, you know, the ones that are shipped out from diamond. Um, <laughs> so I've got a fair few of those too. Uh, you can't get this exact look with uh, watercolor pencils, Psycho Woman, but I do use watercolor pencils as well. Um, and I use them for blending with Copic marker, but to get the really smooth look like what I'm doing here, you can't. Pierre Art, hello and welcome. <laughs> You need something that's kind of waxy, Psycho Woman, in order to do this kind of smooshy blending thing. Um, the watercolor ones, you would blend with water to make more of a watercolor effect, but <clears throat> they don't have enough wax in them to make this kind of pasty style uh, coloring. I'm using Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencils. Now, it wasn't my plan to use these colored pencils for what I'm doing. This is just me trying to um, fix, darken the color without getting splotchy, blotchy look, which can happen when your colored pencils, I mean your Copic marker coloring has dried. Thank you, Kylie, for answering. Blotchy and blotchy, that's right. Pasties? I have no, oh, okay, I get it. <clears throat> oh, Dolores, hello. Yes, this is your husband's commission. I hope that you guys are happy with it. Um, I hopefully will be done with it soon. Whoop, whoop. Sleepy Kylie is sleepy, aw. Sorry, Kylie. I have a basic idea, Clay, so I know, like, I have to make some decisions right at the very beginning because watercolor has to be done with watercolor paper for the most part or you're going to have a very warped, messed up commission. Um, and then, you know, Copic marker can be done with watercolor and all of these things, but the base choice has to be determined before I even put it on paper because paper determines what I'm going to do. Um, so for this one, I, I decided to do Copic marker, which I am, but Copic marker can be done with colored pencil and I will use colored pencil to enhance something, to give more depth, 
to work with something that's already dried, but I decide I want to add some more depth to it, which is what I'm doing here. Um, Copic marker and colored pencil can be used hand in hand. Would I sign a dynamite shipping box? Uh, if I drew the artwork on the box, yes. Otherwise, I don't sign anything I didn't draw. You'd love to get a short box with a Dawn sketch on it. Aw. <laughs> Dawnamite, not dynamite. Lol. You know what? Oatmeal raisin cookies is a really good idea, Philip. Maybe I'll talk to my daughter, Vienna, who actually has a bunch of oatmeal raisin cookie batter in the freezer. Hmm, that's giving me, giving me dessert thoughts. <laughs> Would a s simple smiley face be eligible to count as it having my art on it? <laughs> Lol. Like I won't do, I personally just don't feel it's right for me to say remark a cover that I didn't draw the art for. You know, I think that the gray area is when I drew the interiors, but still I just, you know, I would feel kind of odd drawing over someone else's work. Yay, I'm so glad you're liking it so far, Doug. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I will do my best to get this finished up and so that it looks good. So right now I know Doug, that we discussed it would be a Copic colored piece. It is, except that once I started adding in the red of her cape and all of these things, I felt that her skin was lacking contrast. If I put Copic on top of dried Copic marker, and maybe you're just like, oh my God, please stop talking. I don't even know what you're referring to. <laughs> it's possible that might happen, Doug. Um, but that's why I'm using co colored pencil because when you when Copic marker dries, it can look a little blotchy if you want to add more. It really depends. So um, that's what I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little bit more contrast. 15 minutes. Okay, well, pretty soon we are going to... Um, we are going to raid someone. some Don Don chocolates. to open up Twitch and see who we should raid. Let's just see who's live right now. God, okay. Um, Oh my God, Gabe! <laughs> right before we 
we leave? Bummer. Okay, I have to wait for the ads. Ooh. <gasps> Iconic art is live, I think. I'm waiting to see if he's actually checking. Sorry, I had to mute them all or I'm going to end up with like a bunch of people. See you later, Kevin. Raid time, yes. In just a few minutes. I'm not, I don't need to raid yet. Iconic art, yes. So I'm looking at Tony Moy is here. And iconic art. I don't see him though. Last time he was live, I could see him. Oh, okay, but no, there is things moving on his screen. All right, so yes, he is drawing. God, his art is so so good. I stumbled upon him a little while ago. All right. Oh, thank you, Ergo Josh. Hello. Sorry, I was missing everyone's chats because I've been uh, going snooping around on everyone's Twitch to see who to raid tonight. See you later, Jeff. Have a good one. Oh, okay, Kevin. Well, that's unfortunate. I'd love to give you a raid sometime. You've watched Iconic Art? Oh, that's cool. I just like, I don't know. He was showed up on my recommended. Um, and yeah, I like started snooping about and I was like, holy shit, this guy's amazing. Good night, Labrys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good evening. Sheldon, hello. <laughs> Stopping in for a second. I know you're busy, but thank you so much. So I think this is going to be my last live stream with Lady Death because it's going to take me not very long at all to just put in the, um, the rocks. Um, so I'll probably just do those this evening. And she will be finished. Whoop, 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 whoop. You guys are the best. Well, I was going over work that I technically already had finished, Gabriel. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the last one for this one, I'm pretty much done with it, Jason. Repass as soon as you see the next one. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Well, yeah, I'm pretty much done with her. Let me um, get the, let's see. Is Steve still here? Oh, awesome, TV Huff. I will go check. I forgot the rock lobster. <laughs> I 
What is under an arm? Hello, what is under an arm? Under her arm. Almost straight down from her left hand, it's curled under, what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> See you later, psycho woman. Some missed cloak needing to, oh, here, yeah, but that's the black part of her cloak. I want more shadow behind her back too because I think that's gonna uh, give more depth as well. Thank you, Sable. I don't have a red marker that goes uh, any darker than the ones that I put put down already, but that's what black um, colored pencil is so handy for, and then I'm just blending it with a maroon color. Thank you so much, Kimin. Okay, it is 7.55, it is time to raid. And you know, Lady Death is pretty much finished. Now it's just gonna be a little bit more refining I know that I've got that piece right there. The reason why I haven't colored it yet is because I can't personally decide right now if I want to make it red or black. So I'm just leaving it for now. <laughs> you guys are the best. Well, according to my time, it's 7.55, Justin. Yes, raid, 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 let's raid. So again, thank you all so much for being here. I will see you again on Thursday afternoon, if all goes according to plan, and I will be working on digitally coloring the red Sonya cover. Whoop, whoop, it's gonna be fun. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. I love you all, let's go raid. Who should we raid? Should we raid Tony Moy? Let's go raid Tony Moy been a while. Raid Tony underscore Moy. Let's go give him lots of love. Come if you can. You don't have to stay for the whole time when we raid, but it would be so nice to show him some love. He's back to art, which is excellent. And um, 
Yes, we can give him tons and tons of love. Thank you all so much. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Let's go raid.